Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a uh, NU-ish. Well, he said NU, but then he brought like I'm pretty sure that's a completely PU team. So I don't know why he didn't just say PU, but he's like, oh, let's do NU. But no, judging from the Pokemon I'm gonna pick, it's probably gonna be closer to PU. But then, like I said, he just I'm pretty sure like the only thing that really seems not PU is Jumpluff, but I know it is. Like it, it seems good enough to be NU, but I know it's PU. And, um, Shelgon, maybe, but no, I'm pretty sure that's PU2, so, I don't know, whatever. Um, I brought, you know, a mixy ish kind of team, but, you know, I got Kemrupt, he's gonna go for Stealth Rock, I'm gonna go for Stealth Rock, and, uh, we've all got, you know, Stealth Rock stuff now. He's gonna go for the Vacuum Wave, which I found kind of weird, but I probably should have suspected his plan, which is, uh, to take this Earth Power, and then, um... Hit me back with an Endeavor, which is actually the, I think, one and only set. There might be a Choice Band set on Smogon too, but, um, yeah, so Endeavor is like, whoa. I looked away for a second, I looked back, I'm like, how the hell did he do that much damage? I'm like, did he have, like, HP water or something? And then I'm like, wait, Endeavor. Well, that's why he had Vacuum Wave, because that would make sense. Um, he's going to easily kill me with his Jump Luff. I see Seed Bomb. So I'm thinking he's going to be a um, Sword Stance Acrobatics, because he also doesn't have leftovers. So I'll go to Gardevoir. I know I can outspeed because I'm Scarf. I'm going to go for that Psy Shock. Unfortunately, it's not going to kill, which is like, damn it, I wish it was Psychic. Uh, I probably should change it. I mean, I don't really see that many Cryogonals, and that's really the only reason you want Psy Shock. That and, like, um, maybe, like, Altaria or something like that. But Or Licky Licky. Depends. Depends on their EV sets, but, you know. Um, so I'm going to go to Togekick. I almost went to Basculin to Aqua Jet him because I'm like, he's going to Sword Stance. But then I'm like, at the last second, just kind of, I don't want to risk it. So I went to Togekick. Unfortunately, he's going to hit me. And uh, it's going to do a lot. But I'm going to live it. And I know I'm going to live it again. So I'm just going to go for the Thunder Wave. And basically, you know, get to go first and roost until he gets, like, fully paralyzed. And I can deal with him there. Uh, fortunately, it's going to happen right away, so he's going to get paralyzed, and I'm going to go for the Air Slash, but I miss. So he goes for Seed Bomb, which I don't know why he did that. I mean, true, if I do Roost, it's going to hit me neutrally, but Acrobatics is still 110, and Seed Bomb's only 80, so... Not really sure why he did that, but anyways. Uh, so he switches to his Audino, and that Air Slash does, like, nothing. So I'm going to go for the Roost, and he's going to Toxic me, which is fine, because I have Heal Bell. Um, this is actually a Toga Tech set I've made a long time ago, and I only used it a couple times, and I've been wanting to use it. It's just like every time I try to use it, it's like, oh, I already have a flying type, or oh, I already have, you know, a, a wall or whatever. But it's it's a good Pokemon. I mean, it's basically like your standard, you know, support uh, Toga Kiss, but it's a Toga Tech. He goes into this uh, Shell Gone, he's going to Dragon Dance, I'm going to Thunder Wave him. I figure he has Rest and Sleep Talk, but, you know, that's, that's all right. Not a big deal. I'm going go for the Air Slash. I'm going to miss again, and I'm like, oh, I don't think I'd be able to para-flinch him, because he's probably a Violite, so, you know, it wouldn't have really mattered, unless I got, like, five or so flinched in a row. But I'm going to switch to Gardevoir. Hope, hope, hope that he does not have uh, Sleep Talk, or that if he does, which he does, he's not going to get an Outrage. And uh, thankfully, he doesn't. He gets Dragon Dance, so I'm like, oh, that's so nice. Um, but I'm figuring he's probably going to be defensive, so even with a plus two speed, I still outspeed him, because Gardevoir is actually pretty fast, and I am Scarfed. I'm going to trick him, the Scarf, and he is going to Sleep Talk the Outrage here, which is bad, because that means he's going to kill me. However, because he's already slept for two turns, I know he's going to wake up, and he's going to have to use Sleep Talk, and that's not going to do anything. So, I'm going to go Dragonair, because I know he has to switch unless he wants to Sleep Talk while he's awake. And uh, I'm going to go for the Dragon Knight, so I'm going to switch to Jump Fluff, which is good, because... You know, if I had have attacked him, which, like I said, would be kind of stupid because I know he has to switch or use Sleep Talk. Um, I'm going to Dragon Dance, and then he's going to go into his Audino. I'm going to Dragon Dance again. I figure if he toxics me, it's not a big deal. I have a Shed Skin and Rest, so uh, I'm not too worried about that. But he goes for Heal Bell to wake up his uh, Shell Gone, which is a good play because it's going to end up working out for him. Basically, he knows that he's going to have to beat me with an Outrage when I hit myself in Confusion or whatever. I go for the Outrage here. Could have went for another Dragon Dance, but uh, I figure, you know, I'll two-hit KO Audino. I didn't want him, like, doing something weird, but I end up two-hit two hit KOing his Nidorino, which is unfortunate. I also get Confused, which is really bad, 
And I'm going to hit myself in confusion, which really sucks, because at this point he was like, oh, I think I'm, ab uh, it feels like I'm about to get swept. And I'm like, yeah, it feels like I'm about to sweep you. But no, I'm going to leave, though, and I'm going to hit myself again. So, you know, that's fantastic. I'm going to lose three coin flips in a row and uh, end up losing my plus two Dragonair, which is awesome. I'm going to go to Executor. I, th I swore he'd be faster because he's scarfed. And I'm not that much higher speed than him, but I guess he doesn't have, like, any investment at all, which is okay. I have a Rest Talking Dragon Rush Home Claws set that I do the same thing on. I have a Dragon Dance one, too, I think. That or I want to make one, and it's, like, not Rest. It's, like, Dragon Dance three attacks kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, so the Sun was kind of a waste. I go for the Psy Shock. I could have actually gotten him killed if I had have attacked, you know, twice in a row and not thought I was slower. Plus, you know, the sun hurts my um, basket, and so whatever. Go to total tick. His, you know, rage is not going to do anything to me. I'm going to paralyze him. He's going to flinch. I'm going to keep going for the air slashes, which is excellent. Um, kind of glad I didn't miss air slash already. Like, I already missed it twice, but I'm kind of glad I didn't miss it again. So, yeah. I'm going to go for thunder punch. That does, like, really no damage. So I thunder wave him. Just to slow him down. I don't really need to, but the thing is, my Vaskin is adamant, so if he's jolly, it's going to come down to the fact that he's faster, even though his speed is lower, like it's 93, minus 98. But again, I'm adamant, so he's going to be faster. And uh, Aqua Jet, yeah, Church Planet Aqua Jet. I don't have to build. Actually, you know what? It might be able to just flatter kill him, so I don't know, whatever. But he's going to switch out because he's paralyzed and he knows he can't really do much. He does get the paralysis on the Thunder Punch, but, you know, whatever. It's not going to work out. Once I get a couple shots on him, he's kind of screwed. So he goes into this. I'm going to go for the Heal Bell, and I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. Just, you know, kind of slow him down and get him to, like, want to Heal Bell again or whatever, because he's going to run out eventually. Same thing as I said yesterday about Toxic and stuff. So I got APP. So I'm going to go to Basculin here. I've seen Heal Bell. I've seen Toxic. And uh, Wish is fairly obvious, so I'm hoping he has Protect and not Return. I'm going to go for the Waterfall here, and uh, it is going to do a ton and I'm going to flinch him, but he's got a wish up, so it's not a big deal. So I'm thinking he was going for the toxic. He could have went for the turn, but I don't think return would really do that much. His attack is, like, not good, and seismic toss would not be a big deal either. Uh, so I'm going to go for waterfall. Uh, at this point, we're basically playing against luck. I told him, like, as soon as I get a crit or if I, like, flinch you or whatever on a turn, like, you know, obviously if I flinch him here, it's not a big deal because, well, he's got protect, as you can see. So, yeah. But, um... I need to flinch him before he wishes, or just crit him. So he realizes that, and he's not going to, like, wait for that to happen, basically. Like, he could pp stall me out, technically, but... Meh. So it goes for Toxic here. And, uh, yeah, that's going to Toxic me, but he's pretty much going to die. He's going to go for the Protect just to get a little bit of extra damage, but he's going to get fully paralyzed, so that's not going to allow him to get that little bit of extra Toxic damage. So I'm going to take him out... And uh, he's down to his last, which is Magmar, which, as I said earlier, is actually faster than me. So I'm going to have to switch out because I'm choice locked into a waterfall. And I don't want him to Thunder Punch me. For some reason, he's going to go for the Mock Punch, which makes sense if I'm Jolly, but I'm Adamant. And he should have expected that because the Mock Punch isn't going to kill me anyway. So he probably should have went, thunder fun thun went for the Thunder Punch in case he was faster. And uh, he would have stopped him and stuff. But, you know. So here, just going to kind of play around. I probably shouldn't have bothered Roosting because he's at half health. Didn't even need to paralyze him. Just should have just air slashed and that would have been fine. And, um, yeah. But, you know, I roost and he gets a crit and a heal bell and all that stuff. So, you know, right now I'm just kind of basically waiting to die. I got a heal bell off to heal the toxic, but not like it matters. He's going to go for the mock punch and <laughs> that's not going to kill me. So, uh, yeah, I just go for the Air Slash that does, like, no damage to him, but, you know, it works. Because I'm just going to go to Basculin, and he is paralyzed, but I'm going to go for Aqua Jet anyways, because I don't want to take damage from Mock Punch. We'll go with that. Uh, either way, he ends up dying, and I win, and that's the battle. So, uh, you know, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.